Okay guys, so today I'm doing something extremely exciting. Um, yes, I got my hair cut. I haven't really been taking that many photos because it's been, you know, an adjustment period. But today I'm making my own lipstick at Bite Cosmetics. So we're gonna document this stuff and it's gonna be the best shade that they have ever seen in their lives. So how come they're edible? Like, what is, what's in it that you can just eat? We just use like a lot of natural ingredients. Um, everything is like toxin and paraben free. That's what's kind of edible. Like the other brands, they use a lot of preservatives to kind of, and they're not good for you. They're not good to ingest. Um, and then this is rice bread, so it's a natural thing. We always wonder why it tastes so good. Like when I use it, like what is that? So the next, I'm gonna have you apply our number one seller. This is our agave lip mask. I have this one in uh, maple syrup. Oh, it's my favorite. So and it tastes like okay. syrup. Like waffles or something. And the next is our Line and Define Primer. Okay. I'll apply about two coats top to the bottom. It's going to help prevent feathering, smooth out the line, and create some little cavity for your color. I never thought about a lip primer. I know, yeah. And it really helps, though, like keeps it on. So, first, I'm going to introduce you to our finishes. We have four different finishes that you can choose from here. First we have our matte. It's going to be a real hydrating matte. A little bit of shine. We use all natural oils. Then we have our satin, a traditional creamy texture, a little bit of shine, a lot of pigment. Then we have our luminous. It looks to me the most like a gloss. It's going to be high shine, high pigment. And then we have our sheer. That one's high shine, low pigment. I think I want to do like a mix between the matte and the second one. That the was one. Yeah. And then what type of colors are you interested in? You get to pick two. Two? Okay. I am interested in like a... Yeah. So I like the color whip that you have on, but I want it to be a little more modest and like a little less flesh tone. I don't know. I'm trying to find a really good pink that doesn't flush me out and make me look really washed out either. So it could like make me... Like an everyday kind of pink? Yeah. But like it's not too pink. This is so cool, you guys. You have to come in here. <laughs> and the fact that they're playing Rihanna in here too is just a really good sign. As far as intensity, this guy or this guy? Like how dark do you want? Like, the middle. The middle guy? Yeah. So for the finishes, we don't mix both. We just use one or the other. Honestly, I'll say the matte and the satin are very, very similar. It's just about how much shine you want to show through. <laughs> when did they um, start up the brand? We started, um, Suzanne started the brand initially. I feel it was about six years ago. Mm -hmm. And then the Lip Labs actually started around the same time, maybe like four or five years yeah, ago. Yeah, I think it was 2014 that they started. Yeah, and this lab is actually only seven months old. We're seven months lab. old? Yeah, so we've all been with Bite. She's actually been with Bite a lot longer. We've been with Bite a month. I'm seven months, and I actually opened up the store and hung all this fun stuff up. Mm -hmm. And then we scored Lola, who came from the San Francisco location. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, we only have four locations. Yeah. Um, but Toronto, New York, San Francisco, and here. And then I'll have you try this guy. Okay. So you said you wanted a little bit more brown? Yeah, so this is really nice. And I like the way it feels really soft. But I just want it a little more, a little more brown. Okay. It's really cute though. Mm -hmm. It feels really good. I feel like I have a hair on it. It feels really good though. Brown, a little more brown. Yeah. 
And like, like the depth of it? Would you like it lighter or darker? A little bit darker. Oh, yeah. like I do like the way this is right now, so. Yeah, the I don't know. I like this, but I do want to look a little darker. Okay. I'm going to try the tiniest little brown. Okay. So there's half of the almond, half of the mush, and then a sixteenth of the brown. <laughs> Mm. What does that mean? Cheers to lipstick. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I think I might need it to be matte because I feel like it's almost a little too like sheer, shimmery, or not shimmery, but sleek. Um, but I do, like, I do like this shade. It's good. Can you tell the difference a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does look more brown. What shade are you going for? Um, the Snars. The Snars, but you want to be like yeah, matte. Matte, matte, matte. Yes. That looks cool. cool. really good. Right? I yeah, feel like it looks really like, like a natural lip. Mm hmm Exactly. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is really, really good. good. It looks good. It doesn't look mm -hmm. too Barbie. No, it looks like exactly what you would get, you know, like the shade you're looking for. Uh, the first one we got, yeah. It's so natural. Okay, yeah, I do. Now that I'm on yeah. that. Yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> yeah. I'm always like doing brown, but I just love brown. Me too, I feel it. It's like I can't stop. So maybe like a tiny bit of brown yeah. in here. Got my pink one too. She did that, yes. Now I'm gonna pick the scent of the lipstick. So I'm gonna smell these real quick. Yeah, these are the two scents I chose. Wildberry. No, this is perfect. Violet. Violet will be for the brown, and then wildberry will be for the pink. We have everything. They look like truffles in the back. We cut them into fractions, and then these are the uh, portions. Okay. So I'm going to be warming this guy up first. This is the lipstick that they just made for fun for me. It's not one of the ones I got, but I would get this too. But today was amazing with Bite Cosmetics or Bite Beauty. You guys can come in here. They're at Larchmont, off Larchmont. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but anyone can come in here and make their own lipstick. Um, I highly suggest that if you're like me and you can't ever find the right shade. So come in here and make your own lipstick. Full color. This is Maya's lipstick. She made hers too. But yeah, this is not the colors that I did make, but this is a little vibrant custom that they wanted us to make. Yes, they wanted us to be vibrant. Mm -hmm. But we did Thanks, that. Thanks, girl. Yes. My best friend did that. Mm -hmm. We did it. So yeah, you guys, that was my lip lab experience. I think it was honestly like mind-boggling because I feel like I everybody struggles to find a shade that 
is just flattering for themselves or you know you just have that one color that you just yeah that's my towel um you just have a color in your mind and it's like every shade is like an inch or a centimeter off so getting to go into this lab and really creating these two colors shay and a boy i i don't know i'm just so happy like that i have like my shades and if you guys like my shades and you want to purchase them or whatever if you even want to go in and make your own that's always open um the lip lab is on lark larchmont larkmont i don't know if i'm saying it right but it's super close to west hollywood or it probably is in west hollywood i'm not really sure about the area so far but um it's on larchmont and it's called the lip lab by bite beauty and if you want to purchase the shades that I got, all you have to do is email them at liplablarchmont at bitebeauty.com and they will send you over the shades um, Shea and a boy. So all you have to do is tell them that you want those and they'll, I don't, I'm not sure the price of them, but I'm sure they'll be the same price as their matte lipsticks that they already have. But I didn't really show you guys, but once you leave, they give you two um two of these oh it's right here so they give you well one so you get the the lipsticks that you made and they come in here and they're engraved so mine are engraved with shay and oh boy let me show you guys i already i think i already showed you in the other videos but yeah this is this is it and this is honestly like i'm so happy but they also give you like the the lip kit which includes um, this agave lip mask that I wore last night and my lips feel amazing and it's also including a lip scrub which is very important and then also a lip primer which I never realized until yesterday is actually pretty vital if you want to have like a smooth seamless application of your lipstick so yes I will put everything down below for all the information you guys need and hit them up about my colors you know they're popping so get them but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and try it out for yourself at some point whenever you come to la or new york bye